Hi everyone. Welcome back to Sun Arts. If you are new, welcome to the family. Today's day of us are all summer themed and I'm going to focus on sun. And for this I took one of this wooden sun that I got from Dollar Tree recently and I'm going to paint this with this yellow paint. Before that I wanted to give like one coat of uh, white chalk paint. This will actually enhance the yellow color. That's what I noticed while you know making these DIYs. So I'm just after the white paint dried I'm just giving one coat of yellow and look how bright and beautiful this turned out. After that I took this same white chalk paint and I dry brushed all around it and for the center part I left it as white only and I'm going to draw the face where I can see the indentation of eyes and a smile so I drew with this black paint for the eyes and smile and this is one of the stand up sign that I got from Dollar Tree so I'm just sticking this uh, painted sun in the center and I also created a bow with one of this yellow polka dotted and black polka dotted ribbon and I created two bows and uh, on top of each other and I'm sticking some of the greenery and some yellow um, baby's breath I think some white flowers yellow flowers to you know decorate the base I absolutely love this bright yellow sun with a lot of greeneries and decorations in the base and yeah this is one of the cute sign I'm very much happy with I hope you would like it so please let me know This video will be part of what would you make and this is hosted by Zena over OK at home DIY and Connie over Connie's wood shop and DIYs and the guest host would be Amanda from Six Kids and Glue Gun. I'm going to leave the crafting channels of these creative ladies in my description box as well as the playlist to all the videos today. So please watch all of our videos and give lots of love. So let's move on to DIY number two. For this DIY, I'm going to take another wooden sun sign, actually sun frame from Dollar Tree. And uh, this is actually a small wooden piece that you can stick in the back, which will stand on its own. And I'm going to remove the center part. I'm going to paint the border with this white chalk paint. Again, the same method and yellow paint on top of it. After it is dried, I'm just drawing with this blue paint uh, some curves to give like extra decorations. And while that's dry, I took one of this uh, cute clip which says let's chill with the ice cream cone with the four scoops of ice cream so I just gave like different colors uh, pink blue yellow and white and also I wrote the let's chill with blue paint and I'm also drawing uh, uh, with this marker to highlight the design and I also painted a you know, thin coat of black all around the sign to just to highlight everything and I'm also drawing with white marker pen uh, to give like a nice waffle cone there also giving the same way to the border all around I gave like a black uh, marker uh, highlighting so the bright yellow color shows up well you know what I mean right so, so I put all the picture frame together and I'm taking a little bit of a hot glue onto the back of the clip and I'm attaching that into the center of this frame and this is actually giving like a nice pop-up look I like that look and I also created one bow with this yellow satin ribbon which I, I mean sorry red satin ribbon with white hearts on it and I attached one of the yellow flower in the center to finish the look isn't this cute it says let's chill with ice cream cone and uh, this is a beautiful sun who is relaxing and uh, chilling with ice cream cone that's I mean thing I have in my mind and uh, I wanted to bring it to life so this is one of it I love it so yeah please let me know your thoughts on this Thank you. 
Let's move on to DIY number three. For this, I'm going to use one of this wooden wind chime that I got from Dollar Tree last year, I believe. And I'm going to decorate the centerpiece where it has beautiful sun, cloud, and it says you're cool. So we're going to paint everything with white chalk paint, one coat of it because that way I can read what's going on in the background. So I'm just highlighting the yellow part with this uh, yellow sun and I'm drawing this uh, sunglasses with this marker. And using this blue paint, I'm going to give like a nice sky effect there. So I'm going to paint blue for the background. So this is how it looks as after the blue paint is filled in. And I also drew a black marker to highlight the sun rays and the hearts I fill with all colors and I'm drawing you know the smile and the eyes a uh, cute smile for sun and cloud and I'm actually taking this uh, dotting tool to fill in uh, the UR with the blue dots and cool with green and blue and white polka dots and after it's all done I just took some of this hot glue and I stuck it to the base of one of the shadow box that I have and this is one of the cute bow that I made with a yellow ribbon and I also gave like baby's breath in the center some greenery on either side I just wanted to attach the greenery so it doesn't you know fly away like that and I also took some of this yellow uh, baby's breath I think I just stuck it on either side of this uh, ribbon and I want to stop here I think I'm happy with the look so this is another cute your cool sun and cloud sign look how cute those cloud and sun are you know happily smiling i just love it this is one of the cute funny and you know which brings smile to anyone's face i think so <laughs> this is one of the cute sign i'm very much happy with i hope you would like it as well please let me know Let's move on to DIY number four. For this DIY, I'm going to take one of this huge wooden round sign that I got from Dollar Tree. And this is the wood stain. I'm actually staining the wood. I think one coat is sufficient. I'm happy with the look. So I'm going to let it dry after it is all done. This is how it looks. And this is the aluminium sun sign that I also got from Dollar Tree recently. And I'm going to decorate this by painting one coat of chalk paint. Uh, and I'm gonna let it dry after it is dried I'm going to paint with the same yellow paint on top of it I gave like two coats to get like nice coverage and this is how it looks I wanted to give like a nice sunglasses to him this is one of my daughter's glasses she's not using it anymore so I just popped out the glass part of it and I'm painting black chalk paint onto the frame and I'm also going to remove the back part where the, it goes through the ears so I'm going to let it dry while that's drying let's draw the sun's face I'm filling in black for his eyes and I'm also going to draw all parts of his face and also gave like a nice lipstick with black and red tint to it and using one of q-tip I'm just dotting all around the face of the sun and I also give like a nice decoration to all his uh, rays as well I gave like uh, blue dots red dots red lines uh, blue lines all over and I also dry brushed with white chalk paint and now I wanted to give like a nice handle I picked some of this yellow square beads from Dollar Tree I also painted the larger blue ones square beads uh, in blue color paint I think somehow I missed it and after I placed everything I didn't like the wood stain so I painted white chalk paint on the other side of the uh, wooden board and I'm generously taking few dots of hot glue to the back of this uh, galvanized sunshine and I'm attaching it in the center of this round just like that after it's done I'm just taking this beautiful garland that we actually beaded garland that we created with the same colors that you see like blue red and yellow from the Sun and I just you know attached to the top of the sign and I also took some of this uh, eucalyptus greenery two pieces actually I took I went with four pieces 
and I took one of this uh, um, you know blue color flower from another sign since it's going with the theme so I just went with all the colors and I also took some of this red burlap process I took a little bit of hot glue and I just stuck the sunglasses to his face just like that I think I'm happy with the look right now so this is how it looks after all done and how cute this sun is I'm just liking this cool sun with all the decorations I enjoy adding the details off screen because that helps me you know in de-stressing um, myself and also you know like it gives like a nice therapeutic effect so yeah this is another cute sunshine that I'm very much happy with and I think this is my favorite today so yeah please let me know which one is your favorite I would love to hear Let's move on to DIY number five and this is one of this octagon sign and also one of this cute sticker that we're going to work together. I think somehow I lost the footage where I was drawing the border with black chalk paint and I actually dry brushed with white chalk paint on top of it and I just attached this beautiful sticker which says chase the sun. It's a tongue twister. Say it five times quickly. <laughs> so yeah, I just took some of this greenery and some yellow flowers and some white tiny flowers to decorate the top part of this cute sign isn't that a cute simple you know summer sign i'm very much happy with it and it's it didn't take much to do i think it's a quick hack i would say maybe in between hack and a diy so yeah please let me know your thoughts on this as well Let's move on to DIY number six, the last one, and this is definitely a hack, I would say. And this is one of the cute lantern, which is also in the same yellow color family. So I wanted to add some decor to it, and this is a beautiful sticker, which kind of looks like a sun to me. So I just attached that in the center and turned the light on. You can see it glowing, and I took some of this sunflower stickers and also some of this font stickers. I am actually placing all around this lantern and we are just basically decorating this with the stickers and a few of the bows and this is one of the cute mesh red mesh ribbon bow i created and i just stuck it to the top of this lantern and stuck some of the greenery and a white flower in the center to finish the look isn't this a cute addition to all the decor today i think it is <laughs> so this is one of the cute lantern and they are coming in different colors in dollar tree i think i love the yellow color one and i picked that and uh, yeah this is one diy that i love also with all this collection today so please let me know your thoughts on this as well like to connect with me on social media these are some of the handles that you can use so these are the final reveal of all the DIYs today and I'm very much happy with all the DIYs today and uh, especially the Sun in the center is my favorite today I want to hear which one is your favorite and you would like to give any suggestions I'm all open for it and I want to take a minute to thank all of you for taking some time from your busy schedule and to watch this video and i'm very grateful you guys thank you thank you so much and for the lovely comments as well of course <laughs> 
and if you like any of these ideas and you would like to join the family i'd be more than happy if you click on the subscribe button and join the family and please don't forget to hit on the bell icon for me for getting any updates when i upload videos like this so until next time if you'd like to see some of my videos i'm going to tag in the right corner of the screen and i'm going to let you enjoy the final reveal and like i always say thank you so much for watching today and i'll see you again